Hello, Danger Noodles. Uh, I did not have computer issues. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you did. Lying piece of shit. Okay, so yeah. Um... And come to think it and think of it, if we try to do this in a more constructive teaching way, this is probably going to take significantly longer. But but it will take less time in the future. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bright. Like, try to think of like like think back to uh, the sentences we've helped you construct, and like. Uh, how we use descriptive language on given sentences to in, to show tone, uh, to keep a good flow going, and try to apply that to this statement. Yeah. So... Although I will, I will also, as a side note, mention it's probably best if we substitute one of the hells with a different curse word, because there are three hells and two sentences. <laughs> is, that the, is that the first fuck? <laughs> first fuck? Right, Dude, so. You could also say, like, fucking shit or something. Where the fucking ass wipe shit at is. <laughs> But yeah, just just brainstorm. Maybe look through the document and look at other places where we've added descriptive language to dialogue. Or you can think of this. Take it in steps. First, what tone are they? What volume are they speaking in? Are they speaking loud, quiet? Does the voice sound old? Does it sound young? Right? Um, I'm just thinking at the moment, that's all. That's why I'm not oh, speaking. Okay. I'm just going to put a little, a uh, few descriptive uh, terms for for making sounds. Yeah, that's a good that idea. Too, uh, that might be nice if we both do that. might help, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, we're doing sounds right now, you say? Yeah, like things like descriptive, like how the tone sounds, the volume, things like that. Thank the gods for for fucking spell checkers because otherwise this would be ass. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine having to do this shit on a keyboard. Or not keyboard, on a typewriter. <laughs> We're all using keyboards. Shut up. <laughs> hmm. I did doing it on paper. Yeah. Oh, I do not. Imagine the carpal tunnel like ancient scribes would end up dealing with later in life. Or right in on and rocks. Arthritis. What? Like right in on rocks. That would even be worse. I don't see how it would be all that worse. Except for maybe the position you have to put your hand in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. 
Those are the first two I thought of. Why does the first word hash that you you sent in sound like a Pokemon name? Because you don't know that many words. Voice first. <laughs> it does though. Larry, thunderous. Um, I was about to add Shrill, and then I realized you did. Both of us just trying to figure out as many words for sound, for volume as we can grab as possible to help Bright in her sentence. Yeah. Fair to you, I'm Max. Bright, though I'm also focused on oh, sorry. chips. Uh, I said, though I'm also distracted with chips. Did she shriek out her words? Did What did she shriek out? I, I was talking about the sentence that was just s showed. Yes, I'm saying you have to add that to the sentence so people oh. know. Remember, they only know what you add. Also, you said her voice sounded uh, familiar and unfamiliar to her at the same time. You could add that into a next a sentence after that one. Mm -hmm. You could add it sounds older or younger than her original voice. Does it sound more delicate, less delicate? Does she not remember the difference? And that confuses her more? These are all options. Yeah. Well, she doesn't know anything. She lost all of her memory. Well, then you could add that into the sen second sentence that she doesn't know why it isn't and why it is and isn't familiar since she doesn't remember. Remind me once you're set on what you want to say that I have something as a side to mention. I don't. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Well, I mean, like, so you put together this sentence in recording live scene VC, right? Mm-hmm. I guess the next step is, uh. Like copy and pasting. <laughs> well, Jerry is saying like to change it. I'm not saying change the uh. entire thing. I'm saying uh, to add, add, you should probably add uh. a, one more detail, like simply that she's saying it. She's that she's shrieking it out to be exact. In your own words, like just make sure people know that that it that it's that it's her. Uh, 
Actually, it already is clear. Sorry. I'm not sure why oh. I didn't know it was clear. Oh, it is. I was getting so confused. I was, I was how am I Sorry. supposed to? <laughs> Just remember, sometimes when I read things, I don't uh, see them exactly how they are. Right, that that's fair. I, I was getting so confused, like, how am I supposed to? What? So, like I've said quite a few times, I yeah. very likely have undiagnosed dyslexia. Yeah, no. Yeah. How I read things and write things. <laughs> Words to say, this language may be offensive to your reader. <laughs> ah, thank you, Word. <laughs> <laughs> the word acknowledges where the fuck is is a naughty naughty term. But like, what the hell or who the hell is not? <laughs> or have I called someone a bastard piece of shit? Is not offensive. <laughs> Well, you see, those are less punchy as the fuck. Bro, oh, I put is instead of was. Yeah. But I still think you should add a second sentence before getting to the agent, simply putting uh like set detailing more like how did her her voice sound to her and you said she was and wasn't confused on how it sounded you should add that too otherwise people won't know how does your character feel All of a sudden, I noticed like before the agent starts speaking, she's in a state of shock, like really deep state of, sh of shock. Is that mm. shock? What, what? What am I thinking of? Panic. Kind of like yeah, that's what I was thinking of. What? That's panic. State of panic. Something like that. Hmm. Uh, So I don't think she's at this moment paying attention to her own voice. Yeah. So well then you could add that she's not paying attention to her own voice and why. That's still a a new a new sentence with new descriptions that help us understand what's going on. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Barbecue lays are pure evil. <laughs> well, why? What'd you say, Drena? Why? Uh, I don't know. Is it that once you pop it, you can't stop it? Something like that. My head hurts severely. So, Brad, you still thinking? Yeah. Okay. Something I like to ask myself whenever I'm trying to think if I should or shouldn't add something, I just try to say, Okay, what is going on and what I have I not placed there? Because nobody will know unless I put it there. Mm. 
And like, come to think of it, we also don't have any visualization of uh, what she's doing, like physically. Like, is she sitting? Is she? Well, we know she's not sitting at the very least at the table. Well, she, she says, take a seat. She basically yelled, and she's gasping for air. We don't know if she's sitting or standing. Yeah. She's on the floor. Backing into a corner. Doing handstands. I don't fucking know. You can do it, Bright. We believe in you. I mean, I got the voice thing. I didn't know about. As far as I know, she's standing at the moment. She just told her to sit down in the next paragraph. I okay. Think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense because the character before was standing. Well, was that made clear? <laughs> I think so. Was it not? I don't think it was. Was it? Yeah, it was not made clear she was standing. No. Oh. No, she wasn't. Well, supposed to. The next sentence is also a good sentence. It would make sense that her state of panic would uh, stop her from realizing things because that's what panic does. Panic makes you stupid. No, a part of what I was going to say um is it might be a good idea um until it's actually revealed like by the agent saying i believe you to be dr bright it might be better to just refer to the woman as the woman or the d class yeah or the d class yeah and then in that case like with that added in uh it also makes that new statement somewhat confusing hey what where was it changed she was too far in a state of panic to she was in a state of panic too far <laughs> She was in a state of it. So. I could say something more to the tune of like. Uh, she was. She was so. She was in the state of panic so much that she couldn't realize her own voice. She was in such. Oh no. She was in such a state of panic. I think what right put for the that sentence makes sense it just where was it just for put two words in the other area of the sentence <laughs> that's all it does it just moves it over <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> for no reason <laughs> But yeah, now I'm questioning if that sentence works now that we're, like, not immediately making it clear that this is right. I mean, it changed the, the thing from right to D-class. Well, yeah, but, like... You also add as a third sentence that she also yeah. didn't know what the original state of her voice was because there were yeah. Yeah. Something like that the makes third... it clear why why she was in a basically have the 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 third sentence be why she's in such a state of panic.
I, like I'm trying to think. Like basically, the third sentence is pertaining and assuming that the reader knows for a fact that it's right. If we're going to change, uh the wording of making it clear that this is now bright until after the agent mentions it, then that sentence needs to be altered so it's not just immediately assuming it's well, I bright. Well, the second sentence is fine because it sounds like yeah, something the second... someone in a state of panic would put. The yeah, the second sentence, sentence is fine. clarify things a bit more. Is that making any sense? Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Is that making any sense, Bright? I don't know. You, you could say she had it. She had a familiar voice, but that but was confused by the thought of having a familiar voice or something like that. You could put that she had no memories, but had the feel of familiar familiarity and not having the memories confused, put her in a state of confusion and panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the way I worded it doesn't exactly sound elegant, which is why you should find your own way to word that. Hey, Bookworm. Oh, and Chew. All right, Bookworm and Chew. I mean, I'm ignoring Chew. Ash is correct, too. Also, if you two are wondering, uh, um, what we are trying to do this time is focus a bit more on having Bright come up with their own rewordings so that hopefully their writing skills can improve faster. Yeah. I'll admit, the one time we were doing uh, the reading of chapter one, I was only very aggressive with help, helping Bright, like, add or correct things because I was very tired. I have a feeling Hatchet was also very tired and stressed. It was just kind of like the feeling where you wanted everything to be over because everything had gone on too long. That was definitely part of it. Okay, so what are you doing, Bright? I don't know. I'm still thinking. Okay. Ultimately, at the very least from my perspective, I don't feel that that uh, third sentence is even all that necessary. 
my 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 main thing was wanting us to not my turn. I uh, was wanting us to have more clarification as to what is happening in the story. Be more descriptive with like what's going on in the characters' heads, their dialogue. Uh, yeah, I think that that has been achieved reasonably well with the first sentence that you added. Okay. Yeah, you what don't do you need to add you? another sentence if you don't want to. So okay. I, so I do still feel like it would improve it a little. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the other main thing is like, j only do what you want to do, right? This is still your story. Yeah. I mean, it's fine as is at the moment. Like, cause I can't think of anything else to continue on with. Yeah. Okay. So continuing. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to get you some water? Um, yes, okay. I would love some water. I'm cracking his food. <laughs> what are you? Are you saying you're not going to get us water? How rude! Yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna. Just gonna hoard the water over there? God. Yeah, how dare you? Alright, hold on. Bookworms told me to hydrate. I gotta get a drink. See, Bookworms looking after Bray. <laughs> that is so stupid. Mouse like urge to do water violence? What does that even mean? Just splashing around? Like spitting at people. All right, I got my nice two liter bottle of apple juice. And Aderna now says stretch. Wretch, bitch. I did both while drinking apple juice. It was not easy, but I did it. <laughs> you did both while... Um, whatever. I like I was stretching out my back while drinking. Yeah. Alright. She says it means either using a hydro pump... Or electrocuting people standing in puddles. Wait, I can do that? No, she was talking about what water violence means. Bullshit. Yeah, and I was also going to simply say, uh, hydro pump sounds like so many euphemisms. <laughs> Well, I can't wait for his blast you. toys to hydro pump me. <laughs> he wishes he was getting hydro pump. <laughs> I hate myself. What course going to okay. clip us saying that hatchet? <laughs> she bu she pump on my hydro until I chew. <laughs> that is probably the best string of words you've ever put together, Chew. Well done. None of your college essays could match up to that sentence. <laughs> Bookworm said, or not Bookworm, Adarna says that's going in quotes. That's very good. <laughs> okay. Um. What the hell? Where the fuck am I? And am I? Am, am I? <laughs> My brain just collapsed. <laughs> you good? Yes. Oh, by the way, does it need to be a compound sentence there? Like, 
where the fuck am I, comma, and who the hell are you? I mean, it's not giving you the prompt to add the Oxford comma, but... So I guess not. You could technically uh, put that since a compound sentence requires two complete sentences. You look at that and say, could you turn that into two different sentences? If you can, then you can put it there. Yeah, you can turn this that into two. This is actually a, something you can use in that sentence. It would be appropriate. No! Stop <laughs> adding blushies. Bright is not currently horny chew. Bright is panicking. <laughs> She was gonna get you that for that. The comma I meant, but okay. Bullshit. Objectively false. Okay, okay. Chew. <laughs> Name twenty times. You um... said never. And besides, that's actually really easy with the quotes and things channel. Yeah, but besides it is. that, that's not what the word never means. More importantly, I can scroll up. I don't even have to scroll up to see you saying she pumped my hydro until I chew. <laughs> yeah. Name 50. We could probably do that as well. Do you know how many <laughs> horny moments you have in our community? You've been in here for, what, close to two and a half years by now? Anyways. Name 2000. Oh, yeah. Uh, Your internet search history. Point. Yeah, Darna, get on Twitter. Start looking for the likes. <laughs> what do you think I Google Bright? Lots of lore. Yeah, <laughs> there's literally a quote from you that's like mainly vor. Vor is what clogs up my search history. <laughs> do you think I'm an am amateur? I don't Google it. Why not? Google yeah, it, bitch. Let Google know about your vor fetish. They already do. You duck, duck, go it. <laughs> <laughs> She was having connections. Yes. What the fuck is the <laughs> It's a more secure search engine. Okay, anyways. Yeah. What we got? <laughs> Off track. Okay. The fuck was that? Okay, yeah. Um. Where the fuck am I? And who the hell are you? The D-Class shrieked out, gasping for air and trying to piece together what was happening to her. The agent doesn't seem surprised by this and says... Oh, uh, said. Oh, yeah, said. You caught that before I did. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Why are you saying... What? That doesn't necessarily me. <laughs> I'm congratulating you on... Improving, and you're like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> That's her way of saying thank you. She's just very bad about saying it directly. True. Okay, the agent, and I, I'd also like to add that. Um. Uh, notice how adding to the description to the previous statement makes this work a bit better. Yeah, because now we have more context as to why the agent isn't surprised. Yeah. Or what they aren't surprised by, I should say. Yeah. And she's screaming, get out of my Twitter likes. Oh, because Derna said Mecca Pika. Cool. Already at three from likes. I'm going to comment to Pika quietly. Well, I guess not quietly. We're on screen. But there's no way to hide uh, what you do and don't like in certain areas if you were horny enough. Obviously. 
All right. God damn it, fucking Discord bitch. As long as it's just the icons, it's not much of an issue for me. No. It it, it wanted me to go to Discord languages. Oh, what the fuck did you just send me? Oh no, you'll like it. That doesn't answer my question. It, it's a bookworm clip. Oh, it's a bookworm. Okay. Anyway. I am Agent Shitface. And you are at the SCP Foundation. <sighs> come to think of it. Right, come to think of it. Scroll back up a little. Yeah, up here. I just realized we could probably just take out the parentheses statement there and just add it in with extra information. Like, I don't even think you need the parentheses. You could just like put a comma after agent redacted, say that, and then yeah, get rid of the parentheses. <laughs> it looks so weird to have the comma right next to the black box. <laughs> that does look odd. <laughs> yeah, another like that. Because you can. Yeah. Wouldn't it have to be like that? Cause you, like, if you take that out, it's still a sentence. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I want to make sure I was correct by that. At least if I remember correctly. Yeah. So let's go All back right. down. Yeah, back down now that my fucking ADHD brain has been satiated. Um, As I drink more apple juice, because I'm an apple juice four. What? <laughs> it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> I am Agent Blank, and you are at the SCP Foundation. I know you must be shocked, but please try to remain calm. Take a seat and allow me to explain. It's like doing a sales pitch. I Super feel like after you work in the SCP Foundation long enough, you've already seen that a few times at least. You could put, like, if you want, if they have a certain tone to their voice, like, do they sound bored? Do they just sound like they, like, already know, I mean, not already, already expect this sort of thing. Like, they've seen it a thousand times. Wait, I'm surprised I didn't get bonked for saying I'm an apple juice whore. Because it's not inherently sexual. <laughs> um, you could just... My first thought is, like, you could just add some description of, like, their tone to the first sentence. Where it goes, like, uh, the agent doesn't seem surprised by this and said. You could put some description before the said. So, so, so what are you thinking, right? Well, the agent didn't lose any composure, so probably, like, calmly or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Add the adverb, right? And calmly. Add the adverb. Why does it look? Why does the word calmly look weird to me? It and, does, I don't. It, wait, it does for you too. It yeah, always it's, looks off to me. It looks so weird, but it's spelled correctly. Well, if it looks off to you, you could say it, uh, that they. That they said calm in a calm no. voice. No, we're no, we're talking about just like the spelling of calmly, like the look of the word itself. Well, that's fair, but you can't change it because it's that's just the word. Oh yeah, but we were just complaining about the English language. I wonder how many people have complained before you. It will not Probably change. Every single English major, I'm sure of it. Like, genuinely, 
the is, is there a single English major that has at no point complained about how stupid English is at times? No. Anyway. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Uh, after oh, yeah, I calmly slept. Yeah, I. I, 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 I okay. I will that? listen. That was me stuttering. <laughs> Sound like a jacket. Also, ha also Hatch, read what I what I, read what I put before she said shut up. Okay. Uh, Adorno says, within one day of likes I scrolled through, I saw around six to seven by a display six of restraint. Eight. Six to eight. Oh, six to eight. <laughs> Where did you get I... seven? <laughs> Man. I, I, I don't... He just gets thirsty. <laughs> no, I have normally restrained for chew. And also bright. Take a step back. Okay. Uh huh. Where do you think I could have gotten the number seven after I had just said the number six? Eights yeah, after I... six. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I displayed restraint from our little horn loaf there. Chew says, shut up. More stuff. Stop looking through Mouse's private Twitter time. What? What? <laughs> uh, we need to focus. We've gotten through a paragraph and a half. Uh, no, two paragraphs. We're total four fucking sentences. Yeah. Hmm. I had to lift my fingers. Okay. It's, I randomly went to three also people's Hatch, DMs. Also, and... Hatch, the reason... So, Hatch, the reason I said that was mm -hmm. because seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, also, I went to three people's random DMs and DMed them I'm an apple juice four for no reason. Okay. Why? <laughs> you should know me by now. Okay. I do. That doesn't. That doesn't. I do. That doesn't mean that I will not be utterly baffled by why the fuck you would do shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I will listen. They say while pulling up and sitting in the chair. Oh, yeah, it's uh, not say. How did we miss this the first time around? Oh, wait, that's right. We we're tired. Yeah. We were all exhausted and acting in ways we don't typically act. Even I was a cranky snake. Right. Funnily enough, I wasn't exhausted. Yeah. In the next paragraph, should be leaned or stay the way it is? Yeah, leaned. The agent then leaned forward to the D, to the D class to speak. My first thought is maybe instead of twos, more like toward. Or you could take out the forward. I don't know. This this feels off, and I don't know why. I could try looking. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. 
It's back. Oh. Now it's gone. Wait. You know what? What part of her leans towards the V-class? I mean, what part of the agent leans towards the V-class? In what direction? Did they lean on the table? Uh, yes. Then add it. I mean, you could probably just say the agent then leaned forward on the table. And then, yeah. like, just get rid of the D class to speak. Yes, too. We are aware of Vor Day. The fuck? August 8th is Vor Day. Does that mean we get, we legally can eat shoe? No. I mean, she, well, depending on the circumstances, she would consent anyway. No, it's not a liar. <laughs> no, no, no. Hatch, Hatch, it's not National War Day. It's National Orgasm Day. Wait, what? I actually wrong? Yes. Yeah, you were wrong. Um, I did not know that. Hey, it's it's the national day to masturbate. Wait, then when is War Day? She says, "Sure, um, let's go with that." It has to be War Day. I'm looking this shit. <laughs> We're all looking this shit up now. That's that's how I got it from looking it up. August eighth is War Day. Yeah, that's the first thing that pops up. It is international. Okay, so it's... Yeah. So it also said organ. I don't know. I, I got organ. Wait, tonight. hold on. Now there's a comp. Wait, there's also another thing. That... That's stating that August 9th is four day. <laughs> There's two things that are contradictory to each other. Let's see. I'm going to uh, international, inter, international days.co, which tracks uh, holidays. It's not working well right now. Oh god, the picture they send for the war day. <laughs> oh yeah, and then like another site, what national day is it? Has the ninth as the war day. Oh. And then Deviant Art says August 8th. I actually yeah, Deviant Art probably the most credible source in this case. Oh, okay. apparently, oh na appa apparently National Orgasm Day is July 31st. Mm. So everyone masturbate on that day. National what? Masturbation not... Day. Yeah, mas Masturbation Day is different than, like, orgasm. Alright, right? then have sex on that day. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so National Masturbation Day is May 28th. Mark it on the calendars. <laughs> it's the day where we all masturbate. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> okay, next up, because I want to see if there's a day for everything. National uh, Urine Day. June 21st <laughs> was P on Earth Day. <laughs> anyway. A day on which celebrant celebrants are in <laughs> invited to direct their urine to the soil <laughs> and not flush it away in toilets. <laughs> Save a flush! Give a plant a snack! <laughs> So there's a day specifically for oh peeing my God. on the ground. Yeah, it's peeing on the earth. 
Go piss oh, on a plant. My. It's June twenty first. I'm not gonna pee on any plants. I pass. I mean, I got a willow tree. I don't like out out in the back backyard that I can pee on. I don't murder trees Mur with your pee. I Urine has acid in it. It actually would hurt plants to pee on it. Who said I was going to use... Think it's awesome for plants. Who said I was going to use them, urine? But... Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're... I had an are opportunity just... and I had to take it. At this it. point, are you just wanting to get... Are you just wanting to get fucking? <sighs> right. Anyways, let's get back to the story at hand. No side tangents aside. Are you sure? I was about to search up mass or National Masochist Day. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Let's okay, try so and get eight, this eight. done. So eight eight. Okay, that's. So that's why it's okay. That's why it's really, Chew? Damn. There does not appear to be a national masochist day. Chew, make it happen. Wait, look at DM. Why? Check live chat. Really? Really, Chew? <laughs> you son of a bitch. You said you're gonna need to scroll up. I, I don't care. I'm not gonna scroll up. Fuck you. <laughs> and also, Bookworm, since you said that, I am specifically not going to obey that. Find a no incriminating info for you. So, so, okay. So anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a National Brat Day is the question. I, I don't. Because if if there isn't, we should make that choose birthday. Um, why don't we just go back to the, the topic? Yes. I agree. Yeah. We can look at this stuff up later. The agent doesn't seem to... Oh, wait, no. The agent then... Might be able to take out then. You just say the agent leaned forward on the table. Okay. Three days ago, you died. You were killed when a breach of SCP-579 occurred. And he reincarnated as a slime. Wait, what? <laughs> we aren't sure why this happened and why it attacked you. If you don't mind me asking, do you know who you are? I mean... It kind of makes sense, like, the second sentence they say is because the only thing in description for 579 is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. We ain't sure why happened what it happened. We don't know, man. <laughs> Weird shit going on over there. <laughs> Foundation, so that tracks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Bright says, "No, I, I, I don't. Why don't I know?" She stammered, attempting to remember. Her fear began showing more and more in her face, while trying to rationalize the situation. No complaints with that. The agent, with a collective tone said, you're safe now. There's nothing to worry about. I do believe you to be Dr. Aaron Yeager. Right. 
<laughs> Dr. Aaron Yeager Bright. That was actually a slip. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Wait, that was a slip? That was a slip. I thought that was like on, on purpose because you were like making fun of like how you, every single time you said Aaron, it sounded like Yeager. No, that was an actual slip because I was I have Attack on Titan in the back of my head. Good job. Because it's always in the back of my head. That show forever lives rent free in my head. Titan penis. Don't Titans that, don't have right? genitalia. <laughs> Yet. I mean, porn, like, porn, they do have genitalia, but technically, Titans don't have genitalia. Yet. Stop saying no. yes. That's, that's not going to be added. Especially <laughs> not with how the series ends, but I can't say. Right. Anyways. Yeah, anyway. Uh, uh, where the, where the, right, Aaron, Dr. Aaron Bright, seeing as you were the only one who came in contact with SCP-963-3, it might be good to specify that amulet around your neck, because, like, yeah. like, Newly resurrected Bright would have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, would it be comma yeah. after amulet? Uh, if you want, I was also thinking it it might flow a touch better if you did something like. Amulet period. We are calling it yada yada yada. Seeing as they were the only one. Yeah, what's up with word doing a whole bunch? And they want to change it to met or encountered. Encountered. <laughs> encountered the amulet. You are the only one who saw the amulet in blurry footage in the woods. It was to change only one to only once. What? <laughs> oh, god damn. You were one of, it's, you could say. It's, it's, it's trying to do plural day again. God damn it, word. Fuck off. Word is transphobic. It doesn't want to accept singular they them. For now. Doesn't like singular pronouns. Hashtag cancel word. Hashtag word is over party. Word is envy phobic. <laughs> I'm kind of okay. tempted to tweet that out right now. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah, you're you're gonna get a lot of like Weird not so happened. good people co coming to you. Although it could, like, yeah. although it would be really good bait. It would be really good bait and potentially get like more people to see your account, like yeah. other than just like. Also, yeah. I would find it funny if word actually responds to it themselves. <laughs> 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 Did Microsoft Word have have a fucking Twitter account of itself, or would it have to be like the Microsoft account? I'm checking. It would, it would be the Microsoft account. Hold on. Apparently, Microsoft has multiple accounts for other programs, but not Word. Wow. <laughs> wow. Or we shade it Word. And of course, they're a fair oh, fight account. Word. 
Anyways. Microsoft Word got suspended by Elon. <laughs> That's the new lore. Okay. Elon must just like PowerPoint better. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing off the back of chips. Uh. And I'm now realizing mm -hmm. that since we said uh, uh, the amulet part to like make it flow a bit better, uh, these next two paragraphs are redundant. Oh, wow. Is well, you asking, what's that SCP? It's the necklace that I just told you. That is the necklace on your neck. Well, we also need to probably keep that said, or we're going to leave you with cheery. Yeah, so like, what I'm thinking is maybe just, uh, yeah, just get rid of everything except that said and mash it into the previous paragraph. Yeah. It might make a touch more sense if, like, instead of, uh, that is all the time we have, it could be more that, uh, because, like, I don't know, it feels odd for it to go, like, you just woke up, you got told a couple sentences, and it's like, that's all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Really You're on your own. Really, yeah, really tiny time slots. So may maybe we should come up with a different thing for them to say to introduce that they're going to reintroduce the 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 good Doctor Radler. It could say they could say something like, "Well, I'm just an agent, not a medical expert, but I do. That's why you know they're introducing you to a medical expert." Hmm. Because remember, Radler isn't the kind of doctor that typically does experiments. They're typically the type that, you know, patches people up who are who probably for quite a few reasons when it's the SEC Foundation, honestly. Oh, wait. Okay, then in that case, we need to go back and edit something at the start of the chapter. Because <laughs> I think I, uh, at one point, added, like, that you were a researcher. I thought you were a oh, researcher. He has done some research, but it was medical related. He's primarily a doctor. Yeah, so we should probably go back and change uh change that. Oh hey Bright. Uh let's see, level four. Dr. Radler was a level three researcher. Yeah, so I guess change that to uh Medical doctor? Medical professional? Meditation. Alchemist. Oh, I, I like this. There's an actual fucking term that they use that's not that I want to look up for a moment. Yeah, is there like a specific term for medical doctors in the SCP Foundation? Oh, I think so. I went to look up SCP jobs, and there's a there's a bunch of emergency help <laughs> jobs available. Okay, may it would be better to say SCP job doctor, or like medical practitioner. Job classifications. Oh, sorry. Jobs that exist within the foundation.
I still find it funny how there's a bunch of jokes around SCP ethics committee. <laughs> what? There's jokes on the SCP ethics committee basically calling them inadequate. Oh, well, yeah, true. I've made a bunch of, I, I've made that joke before. I was just getting confused as to, like, what was happening. Uh, I was distracted. Okay, here we go. I got it. Okay, the, the real question about that is, does anyone think that they're adequate? Is that the real joke? True. Oh, wait, I don't need, I don't need to capitalize that. Mimetic? But wouldn't a memetic medical professional only pertain to memetic agents? Yeah, no, it would only. Yeah, that would only pertain to memetic agents. I was saying it because Jerry has with her tree. The tree actually helps with memetic properties. That's why I was thinking that. Yeah. Mm. So the he is the tree helps, but he is not the tree. The tree is him, but he is yeah. not the tree. Uh, yeah. So not, like. So. But... Yeah. So. Pretty much what I'm getting, what I'm hearing is that, like, he. The tree is his medical life force. So, mm -hmm. technically, while the tree is an important part of him, he would literally die without it. He is, like, he is not the tree. He does not, like, feel what it feels, and so on, so on and so forth. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, the other ones that were called was like from the medic medical professional, there's a psychological medical professional and the disorders medical professional. <laughs> they don't so just they have don't, like they like, don't have like a medic force? They do, it's just that it, it says etc. after that. Oh, well, so then. find out the etc. That's or it. Call him a medical professional, honestly. Since Rattler knows a lot of different, my character is supposed to know a lot of things because he's fucking old. So just put, yeah, just put medical professional. Yeah, I already changed it. I guess that's one good thing about having a character that's supposed to be super old. Sometimes you can be like, you know what, fuck it. Chew says loaf chat. And there's a sea of loafs. Yeah. Anyways, let's go back down. And try to make progress. Yeah. Okay, so. We came in contact with the amulet. It might be better to say, uh, calling the, maybe just say we are calling it SCP rather than the item SCP. We are calling the item. Yeah, so maybe just, yeah, just, just yeet that sentence and restructure this sentence. Hold on, I gotta copy a word. I don't know how to spell it. I first thought I was like, I'm not an expert with dealing with your condition, with this condition. Oh God! <laughs> uh, Are you okay? God damn it, word.
There we go, I fixed it. Yeah, so in the future, I'm pretty sure you can, like, open the side uh, thing by pressing right-click, and then there should be a thing that says paste without formatting. It might be better, uh, instead of but, you could say thus. Thus, I'm going mm -hmm. to leave you. Yeah. It's like, in spite of the fact that I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to hand you over to an expert. <laughs> hey. Thus, I'm going to leave you in the hands of your only doctor friend. Well, I... Mm. I feel like that's unnecessary. As like it's it's implied that if if he's not an expert, and he says, "Thus, I'm going to leave you in the hands of your friend," then that implies that that friend is an expert. Right. I decided to use psychological trauma. Yeah, because it's a little fancy way of putting what's going on. I am. I am not an expert with dealing with. Brain damage. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot what I, I was trying to come up with some dumb euphemism for a mental health issue, but I ended up saying just a different thing that's an actual thing. I hate my brain. Are you okay? You know what? After yeah. we get finished with chapter one tonight, I, I want to show stream what I did in Minecraft. I'm kind of terrified now. I already showed you! Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you should be terrified. It's awful. Cheery <laughs> says I'm terrified when they already witnessed it. I did new yeah i drew a giant Bright's been... penis <laughs> yeah Bright bright's been building a minecraft in the background yeah. this entire time Marcus says, yeah, oh, it'll so, be that's our reward. Your, so that's why your computer died on you because you were trying to do two things at once i wish <laughs> and chew says yep cock sorry chew there will be no cock Wait, Bright, do you have chickens? I wish. Damn. Yeah, so there's no cock. I saw a coyote. Okay. What? Yeah, I saw a coyote early this morning. No, I'm meeting, like, in yeah. Minecraft. Oh. Then, yes, I have chickens in Minecraft. <laughs> okay, then, then you will get to see cockatoo. Just probably not the cock you're thinking of. <laughs> Coyote ate on chicken. Chew says rigged. Very good. Anyways. Okay. Uh. Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> Hatchet, you said it wrong. You gotta speak like Batman. The, what do you... What do you think I was doing? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, nobody ever said Bright, Bright was the brightest uh, star. <laughs> so. Which is very ironic. Yeah. Hold on, let me check out something. Just ignore my alarm that went off. That's the final brain cell. You 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 good, Buster? I love every time he he peers his head over his shoulder. One of his eyes gets heavily cross-eyed. <laughs> every time. Chew's gonna go watch. Doug Doug Vods and finish this assignment so I can. So no, I can you're not allowed. Later. Damn, it appears I have put the chew onto a new streamer he likes to watch occasionally. 
That's cool. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck YPU. <laughs> you. You. <laughs> I do what I do. What I... <laughs> no, let him live. No, call him Peter Bottomhouse. Peter, the horse is here. <laughs> Oh, Peter. She cannot be chained down and controlled by you. Don't worry, I'll get Asher's help. Yeah, and Momo. Get Momo, too. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah, Momo is definitely the one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, I, have, you seen, have you seen Momo's... Uh, What's it called? Oh, yeah, Momo's Did gore for Brat Tamer. Yeah, Damn it, Asher's not online right now because I would have DM'd them saying, You might help me out with something with Chew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> No bother, we need, Asher. <laughs> we need to set up a system in which it, it, it informs Asher that we want Asher to DM Chew some statement. That would make the chew experience emotions. Chew will. Oh, my brain. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What? I was laughing while drinking apples, apple juice. <laughs> it sounded like you just turned into a, like. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. I almost said applesauce when I was say about to say apple juice. <laughs> I'm drinking applesauce. I mean, that's basically how I eat applesauce. <laughs> just down it. Yeah, just chug, chug applesauce. It gets me ready for my future. It also helps stiffen the penis. What? What? <laughs> what are you drinking your applesauce? Viagra. <laughs> We're never gonna get done with this. All right. It's all of our fault, except for Jerry. Right? Can can we can we focus? Yeah. All right. Let's focus. Let's focus. Who are they? I don't know if we should add anything there. Probably not. It's like their their tone has been fairly well established as being uh n nervous, anxious person. Uh yeah, I, I think we can just Yeah. You will find out when you... <laughs> I forgot how intimidating that sentence is. <laughs> You'll find out once you leave the room. The agent stood and helped her to the exit of the interrogation room, opening the door. A tired and worried doctor was sitting in a chair outside the room. All right, Aaron. It is me again. All right, Aaron. This person here is your friend, Dr. Radler. They're going to try to help you with your memories. I think that I think this paragraph's good. All right. I think most of the paragraphs, like between the jury and the agent stuff, at this point, we heavily edited. Yeah, like these. These are. This is the section of the chapter that we did the most effort on. Yeah. It, it's also the the point that has the most to do with Jiri's character. Yeah. I would like to comment that though uh, my character wouldn't know that the two are half siblings, he did know at the time that they were related by blood, since he always knew who his father was. Yeah. So, oh yeah, fuck, that's right, they did. So well, literally it's not just his friend to him, it's also family that he felt too cowardly to admit their family to. There's that additional layer yeah. of oh fuck for him. 
so also I just realized you've got a slight problem with this lore. What? Jack Bright doesn't exist in the SCP wiki anymore. It's I think there's still I don't think it's been fully changed yet. Well yeah, but it's going to be completely Well yeah, like, but even Jack if they Bright has been completely so replaced. With Jack Bright, they can never fully expel it. Let's be fair. Hold on, let me see. I mean, yeah, chew, but like or not chew. Why did I say chew? True. But I mean, you gotta keep in mind, with a lot of it, it's just as simple as going in and changing a name around. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about more than just that. There's also a multitude of fan games and other things with Jack Bright specifically. I mean, yeah, but, like, specifically with the documents. And thus, the context through which we are working with here. Actually, I think it depends on the vote. Because if the vote uh, turns in any way, Jack Bright will stay. See, Bookworm says, So apparently apples may not help with penis growth, but they can help with avoiding prostate cancer. Though this is from a men's journal article, so I don't know how trustworthy it is. <laughs> Thank you, Bookworm. What, are you looking up the vote, right? Yeah. Because I was under the impression that it had just been completely gone ahead with. Fuck off, Reddit. Let's see. Oh, Canaris the Lion King. It's the actual record of numbers. It's like, it looks like it's 50. Fifty at this point. Mm. Was it evenly split? Can you uh, wait me? I don't think I've actually voted at all. So I doubt my one vote will make much of a difference. I do, I do think that they shouldn't get rid of. Dr. Jack Bright. Wait, Toast responded to my apple juice for a thing and they said, aren't we all? Oh my. Bookworm says lies, every vote matters. Thank you, Bookworm. But... Oh wait, this month, the vote has been closed for a month. Yeah, so so since, one, since it's, one? from what I'm seeing, it's 50-50, which means... Like, literally at 50-50. Hold on, I'm looking all the way at the end. Let's find a Google sheet here. Okay, here we go. Italian. Uh, outcome. All right, option three. Yes, replace the page with a new listing feature and a new character. First, eliminate it, which means no. That does not happen. Option one. No, no action beyond deletion. Second, eliminate it. Actually, that doesn't happen. Option two, which is what happened. Yes, replace the page with some sort of warning or message. Winner. Which means Dr. Bright is here to stay. Okay, so Aaron, or not Aaron, uh, Jack Bright is here to stay, and they're just going to have disclaimers mentioning uh, that Admin Bright is a piece of shit, basically. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, Jack Bright is here to stay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, because 
If that was fully out, then there might be conflicts. Yeah. Wait a minute. Holy shit. What? This is the highest I've ever seen in a SCP poll. Apparently, the actual numbers show that 80% of the actual community voted. Oh, man. Wow. And that's in the thousands. There's so many different kinds of people in the foundation community that I'm surprised 80%? Yeah. Different people all across the world. 80%? I guess people really like Jack Bright. <laughs> well, it was mainly pushed towards 50-50 area anyways, but it got mainly decided that nothing would have been changed. Okay. Except for a warning message. So yeah. So now there's no conflicts. Yay, we don't have to deal with conflicts. Yep. Okay, so... Yeah. Alright, and this person here is your friend, Dr. Radler. They're going to help you. Help, help. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> Ow. Wait, did I even tell Brooklyn what happened? Huh? Oh yeah, I did. I did tell him about it. I'm right, that's right. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a can of iced coffee or like a can of like cold coffee or something. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I could see uh Radler having some sort of uh drink to help calm them down. For all I know, they could even have gotten Mexican coca somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, uh, uh, try the word. Uh, yeah, so you could say something like, yeah, right. So, how would you add the information that the jury is holding coffee? Yeah. I've given you multiple, like, suggest, like, multiple, I've told you multiple things that Rodler might be drinking, but he would be definitely drinking yeah. something to help soothe his nerves, either a coffee or a chocolate drink, something in a can. Weed coffee. No. <laughs> Hold on. Honestly, the downside of being Radler <laughs> is we would literally do nothing for him. <laughs> Remember, anything that alters your state of mind would be nullified by his tree's pepper's effects. And just waiting. That means yeah. there are certain med medications that you need that it would nullify. So, I guess, you know, the pepper is kind of like, do they need it? Do they not need it? Do the benefits outweigh the the, the negatives? Yeah I, was gonna, I was, yeah, I was about to say, like, if it was just, like, it stops anything that could affect your mental state, then why drink? Why why drink the coffee in the first place? I think it's more like an emotional thing. Yeah, like I'm That's just like coffee because coffee, if we're medically talking about, would technically just make you more stressed, not less stressed. I'm just waiting well, on, on no. Jerry. What about like hot chocolate or something? He's like drinking hot chocolate. No, I'm saying he drinks coffee to help calm him because. He just likes the flavor. It has nothing to do with stimulant or lack of stimulant. Will Jerry oh, ever notice? Gonna... Yeah, let's see. Oh, I, oh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still wondering if Jerry's going to notice. But the the other important thing is uh, that depends because uh, right? specifically. Can you get... no, <laughs> we copy. <laughs> Doctors holding. A cup of stoner coffee. No. A cup of Irish coffee. Nitrogen. <laughs> right. 
type of what? Uh, bright, bright, no, randomly sure. put in I'm nitrogen sure. ice. Is that one. You're kind of... Okay. Okay. Get rid of was and place it with while. Yeah. What the fuck was that about? Right. Uh, gotta also keep in mind that uh, coffee yeah. has different effects on different people. Yeah. Because especially in the case of me with my ADHD having ass. Does nothing for me. Yeah. With Rattler... Literally, he just likes the flavor since it can't met, it can't fuck with his mindset. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not saying anything about that. I was just like saying extra tidbits of information because we were talking about the effects of coffee. Oh, you're right. For people with ADHD, it calms them down. Food's the same way. Yeah, because like our brains commonly, uh, not always, but commonly basically register stimulants and depressants in reverse oh. which is why a common adhd medication is adderall a powerful stimulant <laughs> oh. oh god i just peer over to my left and i just see someone in the far corner of my room just staring at me oh what the fuck it was bust oh He's just staring at me, not moving his head. He's just like, I was like okay, hi, bust. You have been summoned. Wait, have I ever sent the picture of the dark hallway with Busta? Don't think so. All right, I'll put. I don't know. I'll post in in the pet channel. Also, is it okay for me to say that? Before saying come with me, Dr. Rudler would probably say you can call you can just call me Indigo if you'd like. Yeah. yeah. Uh also yeah. uh the camera's flash went on, but imagine this hallway be on being almost pitch black. And look at the picture. He just does that in any dark room. He just sits the far end and just watches you. <laughs> I was also gonna say, I was also gonna say, maybe instead of, uh, Rattler got up and immediately said, he could say something like wordly said or concerningly said. I, yeah, I feel like it'd be good to add a little. Very concerned. Yeah, like I feel it could be good to add a little extra indication Let's on the be comments. fair with how uh, shy Radler is, the character, and how bad he is with like uh, say with going against the O5 Council and like always checking in. Aaron's probably the only family member of, besides his mom that he's met, and we all know his mom. Yeah. Also, he this is. Sorry. I was just gonna say, you know, they're not exactly the welcoming parent. If one of the questions you ask them is, "Did you trick them to eat your own sibling?" Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, this is the only way you can say "concernly," because apparently "concernly" is not a word and and word. Concernly. Concern. Um, you could say and said with a concerned tone in his voice. We also, well, at the same time, we're also uh, using the word tone a lot. Oh, you're right. You mm. could say they said with a uh, concerned voice, a soft concerned. and worried voice. Yeah, soft or gentle, soft, uh, gentle. I, I just replaced concernedly with wor worry, worriedly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Alright, so like I say, uh wanted to add that uh Radler just says uh 
you can just call me Indigo at the beginning yeah, of the sentence. The of saying that they can call her Indigo, his first name. Yeah, so at the even if Aaron doesn't remember, she remembers that they had to have a friendship, and that's something friends would do. But Aaron probably mm -hmm. wouldn't do take him up on that since they don't remember. Only he remembers. Wait, where am I putting this? Uh, at the at the start of the speaking. Yeah. Make it the first thing that Rattler says. Basically, a gentle way of saying they can call him Indigo if they want to. Call me by my first name, bitch. I don't think he would say that to a to a friend that he yeah, thinks is important. I know. They're done. If you want to, all right. Okay, so you can call me Indigo if you want to. Please come with me. I promise to I have help. a feeling by the time they get the pepper tree, that coffee's gone. Yeah, probably. I promise to help you as best as I can. Aaron hesitantly followed them. After a long walk, they arrived inside a containment cell that housed a pepper tree. Dr. Radler said, Please wait here. I'm going to go to my pepper tree and pick some of the peppers off to help your memory. Excuse me? Why would a pepper tree help me? I don't see how it could help at all, says Bright. I, may I make a suggestion before Bradler speaks again? Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like we could add something here. One, uh, I feel like the cup should be uh, disposed of soon, and he is quite stressed and probably drinking it to soothe his nerves, so you could have him gulp down the last part and, like, throw it in the trash or something. The empty cup in the trash before speaking again. Because this is probably stressed, you know, because it's her, and she's kind of okay, but she's in someone else's body and doesn't remember him. Yeah. So That's probably you... stressed. So, then, all right. so where do you want to add that? Like, say before, after. Before he speaks again. Right, yeah, there. Uh -huh. Why does it want to fix your... Before, he just wants to get rid of the doctor. You're no longer a doctor, Jerry. <laughs> I think it wanted a space or to remove doctor. Far Cry 3 just randomly crashed on me. Wait, I have a question. Do you guys call trash? Do you call trash cans bins or trash cans? I call it trash can, but I've heard many people call it a bin, a trash bin. I I've I I use several words interchangeably. I I always use bins. Bin can trash trash can trash bin. Well, you should probably say trash bin since. There's many types of bins. Not all of them are for trash. No. Wait. Recycling bin. Uh, <laughs> Keyboard smash bin. <laughs> yeah. 
bins I've heard is mostly from the you say you say you yeah it's a UK and Irish UK. thing maybe that's Rubbish. why I say that because like I'm Irish a recycle bin <laughs> threw it away in a recycle bin yeah I'm pretty sure it'd be called a re it is it called a recycle bin? I've always heard it called a recycling Hello, bin. Yeah, it's I called know, a bin. bin. Yeah, it's called a bin. No, recycling. A recycling bin. I've yeah. never heard anyone say recycling bin. I, I always call hear people say I've, recycle bin. I've also called it a recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> is it just like an odd Midwest thing? Yes. I don't know. A Rocky Mountain area thing? Yes. Well, yeah. I'm actually Southwest, so. Well, yeah. I always hear it as a recycle bin, not a recycling bin. <laughs> okay, so. We're just going to have a what? fight over that oh, word. No. Could or could not add an optional after the recycle bin thing that he uh, took in a deep breath because that's also something I could see them doing to try to alleviate stress. Yeah, so maybe something like uh, I don't know. He then breathed deeply trying to calm down yeah i'm thinking a different sentence yeah different different sentence so period yeah the the breathe <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a shitty horror movie the breathe <laughs> rattler did it as the breeze this feels like the beginning of an incomplete sentence what was what did you say, Hatcher again? <laughs> I said something that you know. Uh, they then breathed deeply to calm down, or to yeah, ease their nerves. Yeah, just make a sentence that's not identical to what Hatchet said. Your own way of saying yeah. that they're using deep breath, a uh, deep breath, or like a uh, heavy sigh, something to help. Like alleviate stress. Yeah. A deep breathe. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking horror movie <laughs> title <laughs> got stuck in my head. And now they're gonna talk. A deep breathe. A breathe. I'm gonna do a deep breathe. Breathe. <laughs> real V. Real V. Real V. <laughs> real V. Oh, wait, no, comma. I mean, not, no, comma. No, period. No, you could do a period there, because it's like, it's okay. not describing the dialogue going on after that. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, do we want to add uh, some, like, descriptors to Bright's voice line there, or do we just continue? Well, hmm. You could say that he explained in a soft or gentle voice since I think right now he's just trying to No, not I think hear. I think we're talking about no, me no, speaking. No. Oh, yeah. oh you're Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I was confused because the the thing is still up there. M yeah. Move down, down to to No, I'm meaning No, no I'm right meaning here at the excuse oh, me. Oh. This one, okay. the highlighted. Thank you, thank you. 
you, you could add what what tone they're saying it or what expression you're saying. Are you looking at Radler? Are you looking at his drink? Are you looking at the tree? Are you shitting yourself? You know what? Yeah. Are you shitting yourself? Are you we in the midst of a panic attack? Doing, only what you're saying. We don't know where you're looking. Are you eating an orange? <laughs> How do you feel? No! <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of story, bro. Right? <laughs> I am coming. Right? <laughs> you can't. Like, if you were to put that, you wouldn't be to, like, say this on stream, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was about to. I was about to say it's even funnier because the way you wrote it would have been the narrator saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like completely off topic. <laughs> the narrator just like I'm coming. <laughs> that would be so funny to have Momo read. <laughs> now it'd be funny, but it's not on topic. Sure. Now, please tell us. What is Bright feeling? What way did they speak? Where is she looking? Wait, no, no. It doesn't all need to be in the same sentence. Why is it? It wants me to do this. That's a one word sentence. <laughs> That's it. You That's know what? Word is stupid. Don't listen to it. I don't see how it could help at all in any way, said. <laughs> End of story. There we go. <laughs> My character's getting mad at Jiri. <laughs> well, at Jiri's character. Remember, he is a character to me. I know I have, like, la I, I know I have a Spanish last name, but that does not mean I'm every Spanish character ever. You are now. No. No. Wait, We're Ash not going down that hole. Wait, actually, I don't think I've ever gotten fully mad at Jiri. I think the worst was just getting slightly annoyed, but not actually mad at Jiri. I feel like, I feel like that's kind of the state of most people in this server. At the very, well... I can definitely think of a few times that I got very close to mad at you. Yeah. The main one I think of is the fucking bees. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, Hatch, I'm, rec I'm recreating the, uh, the rocket launcher sniper rifle incident. <laughs> also, I do not know why bees poop out wax. <laughs> I think she's going to use a rocket launcher like she thinks a sniper from the rifle. Remember when I, I actually destroyed most of the enemies with the rocket launcher when I was trying to aim at the, at the person we're supposed to be saving? No, that, that you're, you're getting your stories mixed up. Because, uh -huh. like, the, the instance with the the quote-unquote sniper rifle rocket launcher, we were taking over a stronghold. There were no hostages. Oh, wasn't that? So at the okay. last sentence uh, yeah. Radler says in that big thing, I don't think you need finally in there. Yeah. What? And the last sentence Radler says in the next paragraph. Yeah. 
just it grew into a big pepper tree. So yeah, but. Oh look, we're back to eight thousand nine hundred words. Yay. All right, now the next. Do you want to add anything to the the line of excuse me on bright before we move to the next bright line? I don't think so. No. no. Then let's move to the next bright line. Or excuse me, I'm br I'm confused. What do you say? I was asking if Bright wanted to add any more description to uh, the excuse me area b uh, before moving to the next uh, line to the I'm sorry area. No. Okay, so. I'm sorry area. <laughs> it's, it's like district. It's like districts of cities. Oh yeah, this is where we also did a bunch of editing too. I remember this. Yeah. All right. Why? Why? Why does she look baffled? Is she confused about the seat? Well, to be fair, most people would be confused about a seat in the hair. Yeah, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, I was gonna say. I I feel like that's yeah, like. Right, yeah, that that does explain. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right questioned, looking more than baffled. Yeah, you're right. That 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 that's yeah. Well, like you, I am an anemone. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anomalous. As for the peppers, they give cognitive effects such as helping with memory loss. Holy shit. I feel like Catch rather it. than saying, well, like you, I am anomalous, uh, my character would probably say that he is an anomalous, uh, an anomalous person or an anomalous being, anomalous human, something like that. Yeah, come to think of it, would Rattler even know that you're anomalous? They would, but they wouldn't, like, try to label Bright when she doesn't even remember anything. Okay, yeah, here, here's what's canon hatchet. Jiri, but uh, Jiri's character knows I have anomalous powers, but they have no idea about the uh, about the project nine one four project Tesla. Uh, yeah, they would not tell Radler that because he does not have that the high enough rank for information like that. Let's be fair; he would not. But but Radler does have the necessary information to know that you are in some way genetically related to Jack Bright. Well, your the yeah. last name is Bright. Yeah, and plus, if you also would think about right, it, right? Yeah, because like canonically, this is going farther ahead. Like, if because Jira's a doctor, eventually they'll do X rays and see that her bones are replaced with six fifty arms. <laughs> I think that would send a red flag. Yeah. Radler has probably done uh, health checkups and, like, fixing her up multiple times. Let's be fair. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Anyway, let's go back to this. Hello, yes. Are you aware that you are, like, 70% non-human? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you could say, I and thus this tree. Or anomalous? Hey, 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 hey. Once again, this is my character, <laughs> not me. My oh. character, not me. Happy. <laughs> and remember to add N before anomalous. A N. I am anomalous. <laughs> Human. I am anomalous human. <laughs> I am an anomalous human being. I don't think you need to say being. Yeah, and he'd probably say uh, that the tree is its own anomalous thing that yeah, is well. connected to him. Yeah, as as well as the as well as my tree. Uh, 
I don't think he'd say it like his tree. Bride, once again, it's my character, not me. <laughs> Sorry, my mind went in a different place. Oh, oh she was barking. As well as my trees. Once again, I think instead of calling it his tree, he would say, well, he does call it his tree, but he wouldn't call it like that. He would say that his tree is also non anomalous. Because it is it is him, but it's also separate. It's a totally separate thing from him that is connected to his life force. As well as this anomalous tree. Well, I, I feel like it's getting bogged down with multiple anomalous in the same sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was trying to say, you could say he's anomalous as well as the tree. He wouldn't call it his tree. Well, it's the tree. Yeah, so just instead of my, say, the. Also, hello, Chu. Happy, why did you abandon me? Fuckface. Or he could say the tree has its own unique properties. Actually, he doesn't need to bring up he's anomalous say the tree is anomalous and has its own unique properties i did nothing you muted chew unmute i did not do that yeah why is chew server muted? bright server muted chew i heard you talking about it. i'm not server muted as you can tell they've been muted this entire time but yeah Bright, it would probably sound a lot less convoluted if you Bright, just played it, though. Do you think I'm incapable of seeing the color red? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm I, not. I'm not colorblind. I can see the color red. Anyway, I think it would probably make a lot more sense and sound less bogged if you just had Rattler say the tr their tree is an anomalous entity. Because, yeah, the, the, they're talking about the tree, not him specifically. Yeah. <clears throat> the tree is its own anomalous entity. Yep. There we go. You're right, that sounds a lot less bogged down now. There we go. I hear a whole bunch of angry doggos. Well, it's not my dog. I don't hear any dogs where I am. They're too busy I... staring at a corner of the wall. I am speaking of Far Cry 3. Oh. Because I'm playing that in the background. And a, a pack of wild dingoes showed up while I was scoping out a fucking stronghold I'm about to take out. Is it normal for a dog to just stare at a corner of the wall? Yes. I mean, anyway, yeah. Anyway, I don't have any more suggestions on uh, what Radler is saying, but it feels kind of weird yeah. that they're doing uh, talking and... They're not looking at anything, or what tone are they speaking? I don't know. Yeah. He could give her a tired look, I don't know. How long were you planning to stream just like as long as it takes to finish the chapter? Yes. Gotcha. Where are you now? 
I think I think it was just me talking again. I think. Anonymous entity. Yeah, the trees. It's on anonymous entity. As for the peppers, they give cognitive effects such as helping with memory loss. So yeah, I think I think Jerry was trying to say you should think of some description to put onto uh, Rattler's line there. Yeah, as a writer, what I've seen in my experience is if you don't add some sort of a description next to most of uh, back and forth talking, people will get a little confused and disoriented on who's talking. That's the only reason I'm suggesting this. Yeah. Like, it's it's fine to have, like, occasional instances of, like, uh, just a quick back and forth, but it's generally uh, more jarring if it goes on for a prolonged period of time. Yeah, so you can you can add all sorts of things. What tone is the jury speaking? I mean, the rad. The... Yeah, Radler. Radler. What I tone is the Radler? My speaking? character's uh, name as my screen name for the server, but I am not my character. I just like my character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your character doesn't have as much Huns. He doesn't have any Huns. I don't even know if he's. I don't even know if he has a, a orientation. Yet. He's literally someone who's so hyper focused on work for so long that he probably wouldn't even know if he was attracted to someone if it hit him in the face with a brick. We've all met people like that. It's not healthy, but they exist. It's called capitalism. I think for him, it's more like <laughs> he uses work to try to forget his mother. Yeah. So it's, it's less it's less that and more trauma. Trauma capitalist. Fair enough. You could say he's moving his arms, he's pointing to the tree, you could say a, a tone he's he has, you could say he's looking at bright or the tree or the lights. Just wasted two goddamn syringes. Just remember, right now his mood is probably exhausted, worried, and like trying his best to help his friend slash family member that does not know they are a family member or that they're a friend. God damn it. I did not hit caps, but fucking a computer capitalized it anyway. What's blabbering mean? You never heard of blabbering? I've heard of blubbering, but not blabbering? It's Blabbering's like, kind of like if you talk excessively going on and on and on about something. I feel like he's not talking enough for that to be used then. Yeah, I was going to say, that uh, that doesn't feel appropriate. Oh, wow, well, I was trying to fit another word. You could say muttered. What? You could say he's muttering. Muttered, muttering explained. The way you're you're talking. Muttered, explained, described. Yep. Wait, muttered doctor, that doesn't seem right. Why are there so many alcoholics?
are many alcoholics. There we go. God damn it. Fucking computer. Or a word. I should say not computer. Word. Fuck you, word. Anyway, there, there we go. Next sentence. That looks good. Now let's move to Aaron's sure. line. Is Aaron doing might... anything or thinking anything when they are saying... Hold on, Hatch is trying to say something. Sorry. I was going to say, might want to take out bye. It's like... Like, the, the wording there makes it... Uh, like, describe the sentence rather than describing that Rattler said the sentence. Uh, that is fair. Yeah, it's like, like, dialogue muttered by Dr. Rattler implies that it's just, just like, that, that, that statement describes the dialogue rather than saying that it was being spoken by Rattler. Actually, no, what I've noticed here. with the next two voice lines, the paragraph under it explain what happens with the two voice lines. I just realized yeah, that. Maybe you need to move that uh, block of text. The uh, Maybe you need to change the block of text under there and add a few things to the block of text up there. It feels like Aaron yeah. sitting down and trying to process things is a bit separate from uh, Rattler getting the peppers. Probably. Yeah, so yeah, so maybe you could just like uh take copy this. Yeah, and put that up there instead. Well what I was gonna say is maybe you could uh move I promise it will help, I will be right back. Like you could put that on the end of the paragraph we were just working on. I think rather than promising it would help, I wouldn't he just say that he I would think... be right back with the peppers? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe instead of I promise it will help. Sing. I've never heard a doctor promise something would help, even if it's the proper medication. I have. Man, you have oh, doctors you. with go. Was it that one doctor that made you take Adderall? Maybe. The one that almost killed you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's that explains a lot. <laughs> are not supposed to sound very confident that it will help because even when something's supposed to help, something can always go wrong. So anyway, Hatchet, what were you saying? Well, I think it's fair for them to sound confident. It's just like the issue when it's certainty. Acts like it's certainly going to help. But I was going to say, uh, you could take out, I promise it will help. Yeah. You just say, um, I'll be right back. Wait, there, there... I don't need that there, then. So I already have, I will be right back right there. <laughs> Yeah, and then, uh, let's see. You could add Dr. Radler ran over to the pepper tree. That's in the next paragraph. Well, yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I'm, God, this is, uh, this is such a mess. Because I feel like it makes sense to say that Radler's going to go get the peppers uh oh wait no yeah it would make sense for Radler to wait for Aaron's response yeah yeah so move I will re be right back back down well no I think like I will be right back works there I I'm just thinking like Dr. Radler ran over to the pepper tree part 
So my character, I'm positive he would wait for Aaron to respond before running off. Since right well, now, yeah, but trying to get her to understand so she doesn't run off in some weird uh, confusion caused by amnesia. Well, yeah, but that's that's what I mean. Like they they would say, "I will be right back." Uh, or maybe it could say, like, if you wait here, I'll be right back. Have Aaron say something, and then Radler goes off to get it. Would that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's my response right there. And then it, that Jerry is going to pick out peppers. Right back with the treatment, or the peppers. Be right back with the peppers. I'll be right back with the hunts. You do not honestly no. need explanation points. Uh -oh. But you do not need hunts. Peppers. Peppers or treatment. Hunts or treatment. I'm sorry. Especially <laughs> in bed. I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> Wasn't he? Uh, like three peppers or something. Yeah, but I think that'll be described here in a bit. Yeah, yeah. In the next so, paragraph we can describe. Yeah. So, um, Aaron says, "I I think I'll just sit down and try to process this." Um. So we're probably going to want to change something about what Aaron says and then the sentence right after because we don't want to have like, I'm going to sit down and then immediately have it described with the exact same terminology. They sat down. Mm -hmm. Feels you redundant. Say she, uh... hmm. How do you say you sat down without saying you sat Aaron melted into the floor. You could say she placed herself onto the grass in the room. Since it yeah. sounds like that's what she's done. Or we could just take out I'll just sit down. Could just say I, I think I'll just stay here and try to process this or something like that. Yes. Okay. And is she sitting down on the grass in the room? Is she sitting outside the room? We don't even know if she's in or out. Well, it's kind of described further at the end of the paragraph, Aaron twiddling with the grass near her, so she's sitting on the grass. Oh, yeah, but we don't know if the grass is in or out of the room. I mean, I know it's in the room, but the other, the a random person listening to the story wouldn't. Yeah, did we just, like, here, go up right a little? Uh, let's get to um description of the room. Comes to pepper. Yeah, we never described the grass, so maybe we should describe this room a bit better. Yeah, like, you could Don't say the, the height of the tree, the grass, the artificial yeah. UV lights, because those are things the room would have. And it would be a tall, like, giant of a tree. Yeah, so so just add another sentence describing the room a bit. Here at the... What what the... Where, why are you going back down? I don't know where, which paragraph you want me to go on. Where are you describing the room? I don't know what fucking paragraph that is. Aaron hesitantly followed right. them. After it's, a long you're... walk, they arrived inside a containment cell that housed a pepper tree. That's literally your only description of the room. Please add more. <laughs> Before Dr. Radler speaks. Like. You saw me try to build it in the Minecraft server. So you know it's a big room. Let me put it that it was a big tree. I don't remember. It's been a while since the last saw that's in the Minecraft server. All I remember is that there was a fucking tree. <laughs> okay, it's so... A, let's just say, deep underground, it's 
a large room. It it's supposed grass. to have TV lights at the top. It has grass. It has the giant ass tree. I always imagine the tree to look similar to a willow tree, only to have uh, indigo blue peppers on it. You can use all that information as you. It's a giant tree. Every time I look at a recording slash live streams BC chat, I see the Atmontosaurus drop from prehistoric planet after homophobic post. Oh god damn. I said I said US chat instead of UV light. <laughs> Good job, very extremely, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever interact with the channel, even though they have a gifted sub. Would there also be bushes in the room, Jerry? No. Like, it's, it's just, like, some grass around the place. Well, the tree would, the tree would kind of, like, promote growth of plants, but I imagine the foundation wouldn't let em anything else besides maybe grass grow there. I could see them allowing grass, but not much else. Gotcha. Okay, there's a list of characteristics of this room. Describe the room with a sentence. You don't have to include all of these, just use these as a basis in your brain to Describe the room, in your own words. This is turning into a writing prompt class. Large room. Tall tree. I killed a man. Imagine the tree looking something like that, only with a longer trunk. And probably taller? Yeah, that's why I said a longer trunk. Taller. Oh, yeah, yeah. And of course, it would have peppers hanging on. Blue peppers. Also, for some reason, a variety of blue-colored peppers really exist, because why not? There's even, like, a listing of someone selling blue bell pepper seeds. Uh.
Really? Who did it? Why bookworm? What'd they do? Scare bright. I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry. Also, I literally put the blue pepper in dumb post because I thought it was fancy. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. Still working on it, right? Yes. Gotcha. Fuck off Google, please. Fucking piece of shit. I turned the notifications off for you and you notify me again. Fuck you. And now Discord is making you go in and out a lot. What? Discord was making you cut in and out a lot. Oh. I got that. So, this indigo colored peppers. Okay, yeah, so, um, oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, yeah, I did put tall. For saying that, I thought I forgot, took tall out. Yeah, so I would say you probably want to take out surroundings and contains for starters. Or surroundings of the leaving just the large containment cell. And you're gonna want to change contains to something else because like the large containment cell contains. Yeah. It's redundant. Might want to add it to the dock first and then edit it there. Oh, I was already editing in Discord anyway. Uh. I added it to the Word document. Okay. What did it get added up there? Okay. After a long walk, they arrived and signed a containment cell that housed a pepper tree. Yeah, so you'll probably just want to start... Uh, you, you'll probably uh, want to say arrived inside a, con a large containment cell. Also, may I say uh, Will should probably be with Oh, yeah, it should be. Sorry, I'm still broken. Yeah, so Aaron hastily followed them. After a long walk, they arrived inside a large containment cell. 
Yeah, so I'd say take off that housed a pepper tree. Um, and you say, uh, within the large containment cell. So we're going to want to change, uh, large containment cell now, since it already exists in the document. And you took off cell at the top, large containment cell. Then you can just pay, stay within the room. Yeah. Or you could say something like the room contains. Yeah. Let me get rid of contains now. Bring it back. Oh yeah, not contains. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mate. Uh. I replaced contains yeah, so, with so, houses. So take out. Okay, so take out within. Make the the first word of the sentence. I think. The room houses normal amounts of grass. Multiple. UV lights as the light source of the cell. That feels a touch redundant. Maybe say multiple UV lights on the ceiling? Yeah, that that's where they are. It's they're all on the ceiling. And a tall weeping willow like tree with indigo colored peppers. Period. There we there go. There we go. Now we can go back down here. Yes. Now we know the room that Erin is in and where she is sitting. Yeah. So now, now we, now the readers know that the room has grass. All right. So I think this paragraph's fine right here. Let's see. Yeah. I think I will try to stay here. And try to process this. And sat down trying to comprehend what Dr. Rattler had just said to them. Dr. Rattler ran over to Pepper Tree before picking three fresh peppers, swiftly returning after to find Aaron twiddling with the grass near her. Yeah, so that works. Here, take what? Here, take this. Eat this. My brain went to all my uh my hair academia holding it holding one of his hairs. Eat this. Uh wait, could, you know how that it that one frog is transferred by DNA, right? Yeah. Does that mean you can transfer all to animals? Theoretically. I... Mm. I feel like you might be able to do it because like it, it hinges on the consent of the person passing it on, like the current wielder and yeah. the wielders within them, but <laughs> it doesn't need the consent of the person it's passing on to, which was set up. Yeah. But if it was just randomly put into an random animal, I'm fairly certain they would die pretty quickly. <laughs> no more one for all. Nah, fair to you. Yeah, and then at that point, like, how do you get one for all to get passed on? <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone. Ugh. Was magic. She looks like magic. <laughs> Momo reacted to uh the chew thing and to me. Nah. We're... <sighs> yeah. I need to take my headset off for a minute. No. It okay. I gotta like get some new drink or something. Let's see if I. If I unplug my headset, can y'all hear me? No. 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 Okay. I have no idea. I'm getting mixed signals. Can y'all hear me? No. Oh, I can hear you. I thought I you just, were... just recap. I thought it was unplugged. Sorry. 
Okay. And uh is is like they're echoing from like when y'all are speaking? Nope. No. Okay. I like to say no when everyone says it. Hey, can you hear me? Because obviously I heard you in order to say no. <laughs> yes, we understand the joke, Bright. Yeah, uh, Bright's a brat. I'm stretching, Brooke. I'm stretching and I'll drink more apple juice because I'm an apple juice whore. Apple whore. The great butt plug. Although this, ironically, if I just do this, like, how is my, how does my microphone quality? Like, is it comparable to one of you having a headset? It, it sounds the exact same. Seriously? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Damn. Quality, A++. Plus plus. Well, then, that, I'm trying to think, where is the microphone? Up your ass. Right. microphone <laughs> Does it sound like I'm really close to the microphone? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So this means that when I'm doing the get really close to microphone thing, I can just lift off my laptop. Yeah. Hatch, did you hear what I said? Not particularly. You said, uh, where, where's my microphone? I said, up your ass. You don't deserve lungs. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's not bad. <clears throat> okay. So where are we? Your take uh, on the beads. Yeah. Should help you get your memories back. So, do we want to add anything to that, or maybe maybe said Jerry, just plain and simple, or I not guess. Jerry said Radler. Yeah, Radler or Indigo, because yeah. remember, I love my character, but I am not him. Said Haver of many hunts. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta yeah, stop capitalizing. Stop capitalizing. On. Wait, what? Hmm? Wait, what? There were two of me for one reason. Alright, Busta, grab the shotgun. One there cannot be another version I... of me. Where I... Do you know... Right. right. It's one second, not one reason. What? What are you even talking about? Oh, for a quick second there, my voice went through your mic. Also, uh, considering I don't trust people as soon as they say you can trust me, I feel like you can leave everything there besides you can trust me. You will lose nothing. Yeah, get, get rid of you can trust me, right? I feel right. like you can trust me feel, should be a good person line, but it's a line you expect from a villain. You can trust me. This coffee is not poisoned. So... Oh. Drink that Since you change that, I would say probably like change really into like can or something. These will can help you. I think know, or, that, uh, no? what their uh, skill uh, goes. You just have the ability to become better and remember what you. What? It, it, multiple people are talking at once. What? I was saying. How it sounds right now, it sounds fine. These will really help you become better and remember. What okay. That sounds like something someone would really say. Or maybe these should help you? That's true. These should help you. What the fuck? 
Sorry. Oh my god. What happened? We're almost done with this fucking page. I just started like um this. Well, I'm not um, actually looking at that right at the moment. Because uh, I'm trying to get my Bluetooth speaker to hook up to my computer so that I can be having y'all speaking through the speaker so it's further away from the microphone. Okay. Mm, okay. Penis. Yes, it went through. <laughs> yeah, that went through standard. <laughs> <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> Two atmospheres. God, why is it? Okay. I do remember in the last three paragraphs we heavily edited, so I, I don't think we really have to go back. What was that? Oh, I said the last three paragraphs of this page. I know we heavily edited. <laughs> you keep getting cut off. But, but why did... Bright keeps getting... Is, is Discord trying to murder Bright? Oh, no, I was constantly reconnecting and disconnecting. Oh. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to try uh, leaving the Discord call and then connecting my speaker. No. No. Fuck you. Okay. I like how my no went through his mic. It went through. <laughs> I still think this is a magical, magical moment in the story. Oh yeah, by the way, wow. We're waiting for Hatchet on uh, next Friday at 11 a.m. I'll be doing a collab stream with Virus and their friend. Oh, nice. We will be playing modded Minecraft. What mod it is, I do not know. But most likely, since they're playing Pixmon recently, it's probably Pixmon. Oh yeah, Chu, how do you feel that I was made a mod for Virus? Was it a good idea or a bad one? Who? No. The Virus, one of the other mods in the server. Uh... The one who's in Norway. Oh. <laughs> also, it's the Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. Right. Um, I mean... Right, you don't know. even know where your mod is. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. I'm I am indifferent. I am I am Finland or Switzerland or whatever. I am going to remain as neutral as possible. Was like uh, it was Switzerland. It was Switzerland. Mm. I was like the neutral one. The First World War will be started because Bright somehow, I mean, the Third World War will be started because Bright somehow got the codes for nukes to launch at Norway. Right. <laughs> what? No. Yes. Oh, I said no. You're not going to do that. Well, you're not my parents. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> no, but we do have your father figure in here. That you said so yourself. Well, they're not saying anything. So I can do whatever I want. That's not how that works, though. I mean, they didn't say I couldn't nuke Norway. They're, they're, they're not saying anything. 
Right? You do know that, like, that, that would be a If that would be a war crime, you would be like you would be you would be like perpetrated by I think the What are they called? Uh, UN, I think. Yeah. That's if they can find me, motherfuckers. I love how we get it probably. The thing that Bright does in the story, that's probably the stupidest thing they do in all the chapters. And it's something I could see even you do in real life too, not just. Oh, I ate a whole bowl of ghost peppers to prove a point to someone before. I just said fuck. Would you eat it. anomalous peppers without waiting for instructions on how to use them? Oh, head is back. Yes. Hi. Yeah, I was saying. I I just said to hell with it and put my headset back on. Why the fuck were you people talking about war crimes? Oh, I was talking about World uh, War III would, would start because I would somehow get the nuclear launch codes to launch nukes at Norway. Okay. <laughs> Had you didn't say I couldn't. What? That doesn't mean you can. That doesn't mean it's possible, either. I didn't say which country. You literally... You just literally said... said which country. Or did I? Why don't we I... go to the story? <laughs> uh, Anyways. So where the fuck were we? Uh... You sure this is going to work? I feel like something bad is going to happen. Mm. Let's see. Maybe some like maybe like Bright said hesitantly, or Aaron said hesitantly. Yeah. You could say she's looking at the pepper, looking at the at rattler, or John. Maybe add a bit more. John. Wait, when looking at the pepper? Oh, what? Whoops. Right. There you go. Right <laughs> <laughs> said hesitantly when looking at the peppers, just like the peppers somehow have clocks on them. <laughs> right said hesitantly when on oh, my head. Um, uh, oh, hey, this should help you become better. <laughs> maybe, maybe Jerry should, or Radler should say yes. They should help you. You good, Buster? No. He was sneezing a lot. That's why I was asking. He had like five sneezes in a row. I just got a tickle. 
Yes, he should help you become better. So. Maybe, uh, say all you have to do to use the peppers is to, uh, Radler began to say something like that. Oops. I rather begin to say, or you, you could like put oh, rather hey, begin to uh, say, like, the peppers to Aaron. Okay, what was being said? Yeah. I was going to say, I think you need, I think you need an ellipse there. Well, like three periods right there. Yeah. No, no, yeah. like at at the peppers is two. You mean a comma? No, an ellipse. Oh. It stops. Oh. Ellipsis, yeah. Epilepsy. Doctor Radler begun to say, but what what I stops him from say. finishing? And maybe that's the yeah, next paragraph. The the, yeah, next paragraph you could say, uh, uh, write hastily into one of the peppers before Radler could finish talking. No, no, I'm saying the the Doctor Radler began to say sentence looks incomplete. Well, I mean, I I think yeah. It's, that's that's the point. Yeah, oh. like Radler's being interrupted. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that's. Oh yeah, you could also like, um. Then the rest we pretty much heavily edited. Don't tell me you ate it. You're supposed to hold it. All of Aaron. Yeah, so that's Jerry saying that. You might want to add something like exclaimed Jerry. Or fucking hell. Rattler. Are you okay? Yeah. Remember. My avatar for me looks very different than the art for my character. Yes, I I know. I just got a headache. These names are all inter interchangeable in my brain. I'm sorry. Done. I guess it's my fault for using my character's name so much on the server. Yeah, it's not a big no. deal. Let's see. All of Aaron Bright's horrible. <laughs> Painful memories came rushing into her mind. Oh. We should read what Procedure One Ten Montauk is on a stream, right? No. Uh uh. I think you've already read what it is on the stream before. Oh no, I I read the censored version. Yeah. That's why I said no to doing that. We are. You just suggested this, thus I am uh, in putting in place an executive order that all suggestions from Bright this point going forward will be vetoed immediately. All right, I suggest well, that I give... All the suggestions will be as bad as Procedure 110 Montauk. I give a suggestion and I give Hatchet $100. Oh, wait, I can't do it anymore. You think I want your money? <laughs> Right. You're, okay. Do you think we would allow you to do that? Yes. You're too broke for us to want your money. Where am I? Yeah. I mean, I'm more. Well, All you see, right. that's the thing. That's the thing. I'm more broke than bright, but I'm broke. Yeah, same here. But while also 
while also having everything I need to survive. Bright is not the same. Where am yeah. I? My parents pay for my food. Oh yes, yeah, starting tomorrow I'll be streaming at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock? That means starting tomorrow I won't be able to uh, be part of your stream for a large portion since I get off at 2. That's fair. Weren't you planning to do something other than this? Yeah, tomorrow, Alice Mayer. Yeah. It's like an indie... I looked at more into it. It's an indie mixture of horror visual novel and RPG. Huh. Hmm. Anyway. How much, how much more is left? Uh, we just got this and one page. It's literally oh, okay. one page after this. Okay. That's it. And oh, like, thank God. Mainly the rest of this page has been heavily edited. We already went through these last two, three paragraphs multiple times. Well, yeah, but we've been going through all of it multiple times a whole bunch. And we did that when we were tired. Okay, don't tell me you ate it. You're supposed to hold it, exclaimed Indigo. All of Aaron Bryce's horrible painful. <laughs> Procedure 110 Montauk. What happened? I love how my, like, the brief strokes from reading too much are so normalized that y'all don't even question them anymore. I just ignore them. Right. <sighs> Procedure 110 Montauk. What, 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 what happens to D-Class at the end of the month? The deaths of so many good friends to the SCPs and much more came flowing back all at once. So we're going to want to... Yeah, honestly, like, since, like, previously, you're probably just going to want to take out the capitalization and replace it with standard. Yeah. Oh. While I'm fixing this, I'm going to... There was this test... That would uh, that would send you a bunch of SCP pictures of the SCP you are. So I did the test. I got I think the number is SCP three two three the Wonder Boy. You it gave you the fucking Wendy Boy mask. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh. Although I kind of want to go back and reread the, or re-listen to the video that I saw that was looking at the SCP for the skinny boys. I mean, it doesn't bother me anymore, but that is much. I, I remember that SCP actually aiming to uh, comment on colonization as, like, to be critical of colonization. In while also using inspiration from a native cultural thing. Yeah. I like how we didn't even have it. It original sense was this place is absolute hell and death. Death trap instead. This place is an app. Or or wait, do we need an or a absolute? Wait, probably not. It's probably best if it's just this place is absolute hell. Okay. I don't know what my mind and, was trying to put A or AN. And honestly, it might also work if you like uh make absolute hell exclamation point start a new new sentence. A death trap exclamation point. Like get rid of and. Like basically adding extra emphasis on the a uh, death trap part there we go done like yeah uh, then after the final paragraph we only have one more page left she yelled out before collapsing gods rushed in and hoisted her to the other room and to go watch the scene with horrified expression 
his face going pale with anxiety and concern. Aaron, I'm so sorry, they said mournfully. Okay. Don't see any issues there. Oh, this is where I, I start cursing. Yay. Alright, I'm gonna fix this part. Yeah. While you're, you're looking at the other stuff. Yeah. Aaron awoke in another room. And the TV before him. Maybe it should be clarified that it's a CRT TV. Like, isn't that what needs to be used with Laffy? Or does just any normal TV work? It's like He's able to connect to Disney Plus and Netflix now, so... I don't oh, yeah, think it like, matters. If they're using... I mean, yeah, but if they're using a VHS, probably yeah, it's it's probably not necessary to mention the V eight the CRT. It was just my first thought because like Laffy has that aesthetic around him. Yeah. And what's to change? Why the hell should I do this, you devils? Instead of who? Why should I do this, you devil? What? What the fuck is word smoking? <laughs> word has something very good. It was By the way, they... CRTV to cart, Kurt, or Crave. It well, CRT is its own abbreviation, and then TV, and I think they would all be capitalized. Also, I believe uh, when it comes to things like what Windows is doing right now, I believe. Uh, the hippies I grew up around would uh, comment "puff puff pack." <laughs> Shitty. This language may be offensive to your reader. <laughs> <laughs> Not shitty assholes. Works. Just yeah. shitty. Just shitty. Assholes is fine, but shitty? That's going a little too far. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Um, the Aaron awoke in another room with a CRT TV before she was startled by a booming voice over a microphone. Oh, acid reflux. Give, give the announcer a, a child voice. <gasps> Wait. I cannot do that. Give the announcer Cindy's voice. Are you really doing this? <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have been through a lot recently. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something Cindy would say. But I do believe that SCP-2030 can help you deal with what happened to you earlier. <laughs> to no make it stop. I would like to I would like to also <laughs> mention that for me to do this voice, I have to do a limp wrist. Oh. My brain just goes, okay, you gotta do the eh. Okay. Oh my god. I hate... I... Why? It looks like for most of the voice lines we had in it, uh, like, right. something describing it. Yeah. I, I, I think it'd be good to add some more description to, like, um, Aaron got up. Maybe, like, like, add pizzazz. Give more descriptive language about what Aaron is doing. Give it more. So, like, Aaron got up and yelled. It could be something like, Aaron jumped to their feet or something. Like, and don't use my exact words. I'm just, like, throwing shit at the wall. Funny thing is, Hatch, I was actually starting to. I was already before you said that. I, I was thinking Aaron jumped up, and then you said that. 
This is plagiarism. Yeah, I, I thought of it before, you, you motherfucker. <laughs> you say no, that. No, no, right. right, your brain plagiarized Hatchet's idea. Exactly. And besides that, plagiarism is based upon things having already happened, not things you're thinking of happening. Imagine walking into a courtroom. It's like, yes, I am suing Warner Brothers because I thought of Bugs Bunny first. Oh my god. Did, did you, did you like, like, do you have like an actual an, uh, IP to, to look at? No, but I thought of it first. Chu, <laughs> why, are, oh, why are you all of a sudden talking about Lola? Why did you misspell Bunny? Maybe oh, she's no, been training for Lola so, to step on them so much that they forgot how to think. Okay, I. what do you think about my new description, Hatchet? That is true. Intentional misspelling? Bunny? It's a common one. I've never seen that. Alright, Hatchet, I'm waiting for you to judge it. To judge it. Okay. Erin jumped from her chair, threw it against the <laughs> <laughs> That added, so, that adds so much more information that I was not expecting. <laughs> I like it. That is just kind of all of a sudden. <laughs> that just makes me think. <laughs> Makes me think of a clip from Victorious where Ari Ariana Grande's character Cat at one point just has a shit fit, picks up like one of those shitty folding chairs that like are used at schools all the time and just flings it against a brick wall, causing it to shatter. <laughs> hey Hatchet, there's something I gotta tell you. What? Car battery. Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> car battery! <laughs> we need a car battery, Ruthie. Oh yeah. oh yeah, definitely. Maybe. Uh, I, I have limited book right? sound alerts, though. Oh yeah. Well, we don't need it, like, I, I'm like, thinking of just like a redeem. Like, like with the yeah. attack the foundation. Uh, that I can do. Like, like with the attack the foundation with the uh scare of right and shit. Just make it one million points. No, no. no. I, I feel like a thousand points would be appropriate. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now just make him remember there's this thing I need to find out how to do it, but there's this thing where you buy bits, the bits get tossed at your at your VR uh at your VTuber model. Uh, that would be entertaining. Just like, we're playing Far Cry 5. We're in the middle of taking over a stronghold, super stealthy mission, and then, like, you're down there on the ground, you know, taking out fucking cultists, and all of a sudden, we have to pause and take a moment to relax, because suddenly you're getting... A whole bunch of currency thrown at you in a different tab. Yeah, <laughs> just like <laughs> stop throwing all your pennies at me. It's like, Bright, Agent Bright, do you copy? What is going on? Someone's throwing pennies at me. Is it the cultists? No, I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> what are they coming from? <laughs> oh no, it was book form. Oh. Fucking bookworm. Bookworm <laughs> <laughs> isn't in Far Cry 5. So they would just be appearing. <laughs> yeah, they just randomly appear in front of, of both of us, Hatch, and just start tossing money at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then my my brain goes to like thinking of like bookworm uh redeem something big and then it's just like bookworm suddenly appears in the game and just does like one of this like standard animations of swinging a baseball bat and just fucking immediately kills you with a baseball bat <laughs> just hits you right over the head i also love how bookworm has yet to say a single word about all this <laughs> something 
<laughs> anyway, we're almost done. Erin anyway. jumped from her chair and threw bits at the microphone. Where did you get through bits at the microphone? Where do you think I got that from? Oh, right. I Are was... you kidding me? Oh, Bookman said I was scrolling to Twitter, so I was a bit distracted, lol. <laughs> we weren't planning your murder, Bookworm. The fuck? Bright's telling the truth. Yeah, we literally weren't planning your murder. <laughs> All right. We're planning Why dragon's the murder. Why the hell should I listen to you? Why should I do this, you devils? Fucking sounding like I just realized something after remembering every bad memory. She still doesn't remember Rattler. She never had a bad memory of him. Aww. Yeah, that was intentional. I was waiting for you to finally pick that up. That's <laughs> weirdly sweet! That's horrible, but sweet! Oh my god! Oh, it took me so long to realize it! You did <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. And that means that, like, Jerry wasn't even in the vicinity of bad things. Like, it's not just, there's no bad memories pertaining to Jerry doing something bad. It's, mm -hmm. there's no bad memories in which Jerry is anywhere, in, is anywhere present. <laughs> and Chu says, blah. For some reason, Chu is now a rabbit. Chu my super Chu. Chu is a rabbit now. You know what that is. Uh, don't. Uh. Those things give me cancer. You know they're they're in Mario games Wait, I now, shouldn't right? Say that. What'd you say? You know the rabbits are in Mario games, right? Yeah. I'm planning on I... buying one of them and playing it on stream. Uh... And especially having you there. Because <laughs> I love you, Hatchet. Mm. Well, yeah, sorry. Forgot that I shouldn't make that joke. Sort of joke. Anyway. You alright, Jerry? Yeah, I don't actually care about jokes like that. Oh, okay. Anyway, Hatch, your last left off at The Voice. At last? Okay. The Voice came over the speakers again. Maybe maybe add, like, more descriptive stuff. Like, how how loud is The Voice coming over the speakers? Is it is it super loud? Is it super quiet? What's, what's, what's going on with The Voice? It sounds like I'm referring to, like, that talent show. What's going on with the voice? Do bonk. What you do? Chew's thinking about rabbits railing Chew. Oh. Rabbits fuck. Chew's thinking about breeding again. In what way would in what way would rabbits be good at math? They're no, good at multiplying. No. <laughs> yeah, through sex. Fuck fuck you. Fuck all of you. <laughs> what fuck did off, Jerry do? <laughs> but fuck off, fuck all the way off. Keep fucking off until you come to a fence that says fuck off, and then fuck off the fence that fuck, fuck, fuck. I think you broke hat broke hatchet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wait. Exploded in anger <laughs> over the speaker. It okay, that feels a bit too aggressive. <laughs> I feel like he wouldn't be being that aggressive. <laughs> if you fucked off that much, you would become infertile. Or you'd become more fertile. Mm. 
this better? Nah, I guess I'm also just questioning, like, would, like, a, a Foundation member just immediately lose their composure like that? Clef. Oh, yeah, but I doubt it's Clef behind me. I'm not going to yeah, ask you that question. they could probably not lose their temper, but they're, yeah. Look at me. I don't think that one's clef. It doesn't. They don't seem like clef. Uh, I was thinking. Let, let me be clear. I was mostly thinking about volume. Like you can add emotions to what the voice sounds like, but I think you're going to extremes that don't work for the scenario yeah. if that makes sense yeah okay yeah that makes sense rising intensity if you don't do it fucking what <laughs> you said grow, growing what? intensities of the ass fucking. That's why I said ass fucking. I didn't hear like, what, what you had said. And besides that, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're going to get you going in a certain way again. <laughs> Can we just continue with the story and not in like. Yeah. Let's, let's have it sound like a story, not like a. An adult film. <laughs> well, to be fair, that's like 90% of these streams when that child's not here. <laughs> Chu says buzzkill. Buzzkill. I am, of course, a buzzkill. True. I think everyone wants to be done with this stream. Yeah. It's just ADHD. Right. ADHD plus Jiri. Yeah. Why does that rhyme? Why does that rhyme? Well, the good news is the next paragraph we have we did do a lot of editing on, if I remember yeah. correctly. Let's see. The voice grew louder. If you don't do it, we have ways of making you. What's this? He yelled at me. Anyway, uh, as if that scares me. Do whatever you want. I was gonna say it again. Feels kind of off to have that many exclamation points on everything. I think it'd work fine just to have one. Like having tons of exclamation points, like when I read something like that, it just makes me think of Twitter. All right, there we go. Uh, We're done. And for me. Huh? For me. Because I write with the tens of exclamation points. Right, yeah, true. But uh, up, there's a bit, there's a whole bunch of exclamation points in, uh, after devils. I That's this. Oh, my lad. Um, Fix that. Why is it saying devils with a thing? So wants to change it to devil. What? Okay. As if that scares me. Do whatever you want, you massive shitty assholes. You massive, very extremely assholes. <laughs> I'm not doing anything you say. She yelled with pure anger. A door to the left side of the room opened, and two fully armed guards entered. Without saying a word, they started restraining Aaron to the chair. Get the hell off of me! Why am I reading it like that? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to read it in Cindy voice, but it's probably for the better. Okay. Without saying a word, blah, 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 blah. Probably for the best for Chu's sanity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But wait, why do we care about Chu's sanity? Go ahead. 
if you don't do it, <laughs> we have ways of making you. <laughs> Get the hell off of me, you bastardized. I feel like you are most creative when you're trying to come up with like, strings of insults. Yeah, like, cuss words are, and insults are said a lot in my family, so... <laughs> she says they don't know. Okay. Uh, door left side, they started straining. Get the hell off of me, you bastardized pieces of shit. She exclaimed viciously. The guards ignored her, picked up the VHS tape, and placed it in the VCR. Both guards headed to the door and left the room before the VCR started playing the episode. I told you. Uh, I told you we have ways of making you watch this. You should have done as we as you were told. Uh no rotten hell. May may you could add something like, um, Aaron said fighting against their restraints at the like beginning maybe... no I'm thinking at the end but like like adds adds add some add some description to to Aaron being an ang angie being Jeez, it's shaking and bite. It, what the fuck? Why? Why is it when we have when I'm asking you to be more descriptive, you inherently go towards portraying your character as some kind of rabid animal? Because her character, similar to her, is apparently a biter. I'll, I I'll, I'll bite a penis off if someone tries it to knock me out with one. I'm gonna pretend you never said that. <laughs> okay. Point being, I don't think I don't think they'd be biting at their restraints. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it happen in anime. Well, in anime, but this anime. is the foundation. Yeah, they would probably make the restraints in a way where you couldn't bite at it. You could try to claw at it, but that won't do yeah, you any that's good. Yeah, that's why I said something like fighting. At their restraint or fighting their restraint, something like that. Flying. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, why? You just insist on Dr. Aaron Bright being some kind of fucking like animalistic creature. Well, remember. <laughs> like, we'll move on. She is well, she made is a bird. Uh, hey. Used to have the nickname of Little Devil, right? <sighs> okay, one at a time. What? What was being I said, said? I said she is a bird, so that makes sense. Shut up. I okay. was I was uh, saying that her nickname used to be Little Devil, so it makes sense if she, if her character was aggressive. I mean, I mean, true, but I'm just like pointing to the fact that Bright's instincts on describing things play specific, like heavily into extra aggression and animalistic descriptions i feel like mm -hmm. bright as a person is the type that doesn't really get aggressive unless they're very... and she's putting that into her character yeah all right only two paragraphs left yeah aaron said shaking and clawing at their restraints before Aaron could continue insulting, the episode had started playing. A weird motion of characters appeared on the screen and did hero heroic. You got this. That is by far the worst pronunciation I think I've done. I said horrific as heroic. Good job. Horrific things that no one should have gone through. Ah, Festus, no. Yes, Festus attacked Dave. <laughs> he, it, well, Festus didn't attack. He just, like, tried to use my mouse as a pillow. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, Mark you. No one should have gone through. Suddenly, a very tall, laughing person in a suit came on screen telling everyone to laugh. What the fuck is this shit? You're having me watch before anyone could answer her. Uh, yeah, before anyone could answer her, all the lights went out, then back on. I was sitting, Aaron was sitting on the stage with a tall, blue suited person. We did it! Yeah. Well, since we describe Laffy like in more detail at the beginning of the next chapter, maybe you should just say, like, was sitting on a stage with an I imposing like figure. Okay. What? I feel like this is still okay to leave it since you don't know if they're going to immediately read the second chapter. Well, yeah, but like, like if like this would just become, uh, this would just become redundant. Because, like, all of this is described in the next chapter. There. Fixed it. Opposing? Do you mean imposing? Opposing figure? I mean, I guess opposing would work. It's just a bit more confusing. There we go. You there, Jerry? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, ready for the Minecraft thing? Aaron was sitting on a stage with. Yeah, and I was gonna say at this point you might as well just take out this bit that's like to be continued in chapter two, which you can after. Jesus fucking Christ! Gods. Okay, finally, okay. final, finally, scroll down a touch. Get that chapter two onto its own page. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Wait, no, right. Oh, for, oh, for, for the love of God. Okay, right. There's go a back. Where you could have done go, that. Go, go back, go back, right. Like, go, like, just back, Hello? backspace until it's back. Okay, there. Click above it. Click above chapter two. Now press enter. Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. I think you killed Hatchet a little. Uh, it hurts so much watching Bright try to format this document. Either way, I think that is all. Bright? Yeah. All right. Okay, so an SCP anime girl, so close. So Dave is a computer mouse. Interesting. The lore depend. The lore deepens. <laughs> About to say the lore lore depends. And now we can turn our brains off from Minecraft. It's just a momentary thing, but yeah. And then stream is over, and I can finally take out this fucking stronghold I've been staring at in Far Cry for like hours. Oh wait, no, I already took it out. Never mind. Alright, so that way so Adarna can see. Yeah. Alright, so as the show I have no life. Um first thing I'll show you is a our exotal exolotl at habitat. Exotl. Habitat. Um <laughs> we have Pinkie Pie, uh, Shithead, and my all-time favorite right here, Azul. The really, the really <gasps> Jesus really fucking Christ! Oh, for fuck's sake! So, oh. um, this is why you do this at daytime. This is why I wish the fucking Iron Golems killed creepers. That looks like you need more water. 
Bookworm said was waiting for them to be named after my little pony. All to be named okay. They're all still in there, so none of them got hurt. That's good. That's Chew insane. says Look. Chew says barks at the axolotl. Creeper. Chew, why are you barking at yep. them? And uh, this it's took me the creeper at the base of the ladder. When you're done. Yeah. This is this took me the longest. Um. Yeah, but it's the most beautiful looking. Look at all this. So. Now you're gonna have to make axolotl containment repairs. Look at all this. The glow squids were a bitch to get in here. How did you get them in there? Uh, water buckets and lead. My first thought on how you could have, like, gotten them in there more easily is, like, make a big tank full of water with no light in it. Uh, like, leave it there for a while and then come back and see if there's any that spawned. The poker says you didn't just spawn them in creative. Nice job. The fuck is that creeper oh, doing? Just... He's just the sitting there. Are you okay, Azul? Is there butt stuck in the glass? No, they're fine. That happens sometimes. It's, it's oh, damn it. <laughs> the creeper just ignoring me. Oh, yeah, we've got a crowd of... That before? Chu says, are you done working on story? Yeah, for the night, we're we're done. Yeah. I and, got some and Minecraft pigs. thing is just momentarily. The stream's about to be over. Pigs, chickens, cows, sheep. This is all temporary. Until I find an open area. Or make one. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna die in the nether. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna instantly oh, die. Oh no, no. Bad things happen when you die in the nether. Okay. Hi there! I died as going through the portal. But yeah. I I have no life in Minecraft. Good job. I like I like Azul the most though. His head is in the glass. He I does that. that. Yeah. I'm still surprised my first axolotl was Azul. Can Chew eat it, says Chew. No. Oh. I'm pretty sure that would be illegal. Yeah. I'm going to box you because you said you can be as you ass to eat it. Oh, look. Look, it's Chew. Who cares about the law? When the law pertains to an like a heavily protected species, it's pretty important to follow. I wonder if she like, got mad when I like said like real talk of like real talk of all the laws that people should follow. Like one of the most important ones that's like separated from standard political discourse is laws pertaining to protecting wildlife. There's no justifiable reason to not follow those laws because those laws are like fundamentally based on helping Hi. animals survive. You dumbass. No. I wonder why they made the creepers no longer be attacked by iron golems. Yeah, in the environment. Oh wait, I wonder if they're still at the wall. Like, following environmental and hunting and all sorts of regulations. Wait. Guys, I found Chew. An ass. Uh, now it, we it, wait. Eat yeah. the ass. <laughs> Chew. You heard it from wait, me. Wait, there's fewer of them now. But they're still here. <laughs> What's important is to mention that Bright called that Chew. So Chew just said, eat the ass in reference to himself. Yeah, he wants people to eat his ass. Mm -hmm. Momo. 
<laughs> Wait, there's something I gotta do. I don't think most people know this. So... No. Yeah. I think it kind of finally hit into Chu's head. I'm not. <laughs> hit into Chu's head exactly what they had said. What do you mean? What and is now wrong? Trying with to you? deny it. Watch this. Yes, I know. I can take their heads. They still have their heads. You're just taking off their their head skin. Ah. What's wrong? Maybe you should let them into the wall. Chew has limits, you pervs. All right. Listen, Chew. Listen. Are you saying you're not into your ass being eaten? Then why yeah, did like, you no, Like the no, no, stretch. No, no. Chew is into that. Chew is into that. I was gonna say, what's the like the what's the stretch between your ass being ate and you being ate? All right. Unless Chu has someone we, they want to raid, uh, there won't be a raid stream. All of the oh, the Chu. Bed. Oh, Chu does. You gotta stretch your ass. And yes, I do, says the Chu. Yes, Chu, we do. We know oh, you like getting your ass ate. Your ass. And you want your ass. That's ate. what butt plugs are for, for bookworm. What? What? It's what butt plugs are for. It's what bad dragon is for. Fast the rat says chew. Yeah, Brooklyn said you gotta stretch your ass. So I said that's what butt, pl butt plugs are for, as well as penises. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Chew, you know this. There's a lot wrong with us, and a part of that is because you are in the general vicinity. <laughs> All right. And because you're friends with us. Exactly. All right, everyone, what should our raid words be? Uh, you eat <laughs> No. Um. Oh, my God. Um, oh, that, that would be great for raid words. Oh, uh, Bass doesn't like oh, doesn't NSFW. Like NSFW. Uh, oh, she doesn't like NSFW. Okay. Uh, very oh. extremely Dave. Extremely. Got it. Very extremely Dave. Oh, wait. She's not I depraved. Know, but... What? Oh, she needs shit. More than all of us put together. Mm -hmm. um, no, you're. You're more depraved than all of us, Chew. Well, actually. Let's see, what was that quote earlier? She hydro pumps me till I chew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she not 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 that. It was um it was I have it right here. She so pump on my hydro until I chew. Ah. Uh. Oh, All right, everyone ready? I'm probably gonna go take a bath after this. Yeah. Oh, we got a bunch of viewers ready to raid. Wait, there, wait, there's six? Where did these people come from? Oh, wait. We got Jerry, Chu, uh, right. Adirni, me, Book. It was just one extra person. Well, yeah. Bright. It doesn't count me. Oh, yeah. Very extremely Dave. All right. In three, two, one. What was the book